one out of number nine. It is REZ 2016-25 Kings Creekside RV Park. Jason. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, ultimately, this request is aimed at allowing for additional RVs or units on the property that is used as the RV park. Ultimately, when the Planning Commission and the County Commission saw this request back in 2012, they were approved for 28 units or RV spaces on the property. Now they've come back uh, after success and are requesting that be allowed to be increased to 47. So with that, staff has worked with them on a site plan. Um, I anticipate possibly one small update after tonight before it goes to the County Commission. I believe they want to put a picnic shelter on the subject property, we just want that depicted on there. Other than that, I don't have any updates. I do feel that staff is uh, recommending for this site plan and planning's recommendation is for approval without conditions. So with that, we'll try to address any questions that you may have, but we do think it is ready for your consideration tonight. Commissioners, any questions to staff on this request? Yes, I have. Mr. Jason, what is the maximum allowable um, lot from this property, or is this the maximum? The, for the RV park? Mm -hmm. In the RV park, I believe if you were to use our maximum, I think it is 10 units per acre. So he's well under the um, developable maximum on the property. Jason, mm -hmm. if you go back to the overhead, mm -hmm. are those um, are those the fixed mobile homes that are on the north side of the property? Yes, sir. The subject property that we have is actually in two sections. There's a residential portion, which is a manufactured home park for about half a dozen homes on the northern section. And then there's the non-residential RV park on the southern section. And yes, sir, I think, I believe the mobile home park is is built out. I, I don't think, I think all those homes that are proposed and allowed are currently depicted there and developed. So I guess I'm looking at that in the site map. Mm -hmm. is, it, is the zoning line south of those mobile homes or are we rezoning the whole parcel? The site plan, the part that's really applicable for us is really south of that zoning line on the non-residential portion. So we could redraw those maps to be Clearer there, but yes, sir. The intent is just to affect the RV park, not the main passion of park. Okay. So, the, are the 22 acres encompassing those fixed mobile homes? Yes, sir. the The way this particular business owner has chosen to operate is, even though the parcel is split up into different pieces, he can he retains ownership of all of it, and so it shows up as one large development, even though it actually has separate pieces within it. Commissioners, any questions for staff on this request? There being none, anyone here this evening wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. There being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request, please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak against this request? There being none. Commissioners, any further discussion on this, this case this evening? There being none, Commissioners, I will take a motion on this request. Mr. Chairman, I make a recommendation. We recommend to the County Commission for approval of REZ 201625. We have a motion from Commissioner Hall. Do we have a second? Got a second from Commissioner Wiles. Any other discussion on this case? Commissioner, for voting? If not, all in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. It's also unanimous, Ms. Carmilla. Thank you very much.